Okay. Excuse my face. I've been crying all day. Um, let me back up a little bit so my head's not cut off because that'll bug me. Um, okay. So, I'm going to tell you about my day today. Um, I went to my old high school, Chiawana High School, and I spoke at their HIB assembly. Now, HIB stands for Harassment, Intimidation, and Bullying Awareness Assembly. And you might be asking yourself, Alana, why would you be speaking there? Well, kids, high school sucked. Anyways, um, but yeah, I had a really tough time in middle school, high school, and I went through some things, and things happened to me, I did some things to myself, and what I went through to be able to live through it, I gotta tell people about it, because I know that I can help somebody one day, and so I was given the opportunity to, to do exactly that, to be able to tell my story and impact other people, so Chiawana needed people to speak for this assembly, and I was like, I'll do it, me, and they're like, okay, you can, you know, they chose you to speak, just would you write something up? And I was like, I did. So I wrote something up and I have a lot to say, you know, and I might write a book about it one day, who knows? But I have a lot to say, but I know they're not gonna give me a 45 minute platform to speak. I wish they would, um, but I knew for, I had to put the most important things, it's all important, but I knew I had to put the most important things into my speech. So I sat on my phone late at night and I wrote everything I wanted to say out and I finally finished it in like two days and I'm like, I'm done. It's finished and they're like, awesome, bring it to the school tomorrow, you'll read it to the committee. And I was like, I just wanna let you know ahead of time, it's pretty lengthy, I know we're probably gonna have to cut it down a bit. And they're like, it's fine, just come or read it. So I brought it, moved it to a Word document because mind you, it was on my phone, so I emailed it to myself, moved it to a Word document. It was six pages long, six pages. So like I said, right before I read it, I was like, listen, before I even start, I know I have to cut it out, like cut some stuff down. So I'm just gonna read what I have. You tell me what you want and then we'll go from there. I read through all of it. It was seven minutes long. So I read through all of it and they tell me, don't cut a single thing. It's all important. It all needs to be heard. All needs to be said. Don't cut a single thing. First off, that's how I felt. But no, that was, it was so, so amazing. Like, wow, like that's, that's truly an honor to be able to, to say what I needed to say and have all of it be important. And I was just, I was kind of like baffled. It was just like, wow. Okay, cool. So I take this speech home and I'm going through it. Um, I have about a week and a half. I knew I wasn't going to be able to memorize it because, like I said, I had a lot to say. And I know that I will get emotional during this speech and I'll probably end up side rambling and I needed to stay focused. So I knew that I was going to end up just reading through it anyways. Um, so, a week and a half goes by and ba -dum -ba -dum, it's today. And today was the day and I woke up early in the morning at like 5 o'clock and I'm like, I'm going to vomit. Uh, this is, oh my gosh, like I get stage fright, but I'm a public speaker. It's all kind of like in here, but not in here. Like my heart's like, I'm ready for it, bring it. And my mind's like, that's a lot of people though. Are you sure? Um, but I was really, really excited, but I was really nervous because the stuff that I said today in my speech are things that I haven't told anybody in general. I haven't told anyone other than my intermediate family and my past relationship. These are things that I've been through, things that are really kind of a big part of who I am, my journey, my struggles, and I just I just kind of don't share that with people um, for, for a, a handful of reasons. And so I was about to th share my dirtiest laundry to a bunch of people that I don't know. Um, so I get there, I read through the first speech and it's nothing short of empowering. And that's literally the only word that comes to my mind when I think about it. It's just empowering, really. The the impacts that I, I can feel and I can hear um, when I went through the first speech with the first half of the freshmen and then did it again with the second half of the freshmen. And just the amount of energy I got back at the end with the applause. I was like, I made a difference. I know I did. I just know it. It feels so good. And I'm so honored to be able to to have been able to do that. So then we get to the sophomores. And there's a lot of them there. You know, it's not the biggest class. I mean, we separated the freshmen, but this is all of the sophomores. So I'm like, oh, there's a lot. This is a little more intimidating than I thought. 
but I read through it just like I did the other one, a little more emotional. You know, I'm growing as, as each speech passes, getting better with my emotions, my body language. And um, I knew the most difficult speech for me was going to be the seniors, the juniors and the seniors, which was the last speech of the day. And the reason it was going to be hard for me is because I haven't, it hasn't been a lot of years since I've graduated. I still know some of the people that go to Chiawana, you know, I still am friends with them on Facebook or, you know, I text them from time to time to see how they're doing. These are still my peers and I'm about to tell my peer, my peers, my dirtiest laundry, things I haven't told anybody before. And I'm like, oh my God, it's pretty intimidating. And not only that, there are, there's a part in the speech where I give thanks and gratification and love to a teacher that, that literally made the most impact on my life ever that I love so dearly. And in the first three speeches, it was easy because it was all like third person. I'm like, this teacher, I love her. She's great. And I knew for the last one, I was going to change it. And I was going to be like, you are, I love you. You are great. And I was like, oh God. And she was going to be there. So I knew it was going to be a big deal. And so I'm reading through the speech and I already feel the emotions. I'm in tune with my emotions. I'm, I'm kind of like back into the speech, like when it happened, the things that happened to me, I'm feeling the emotions, I'm feeling the pain and I'm in it. And I knew I was gonna cry once I say something that I did in my life that was very, very personal. I was like, this is it, I'm gonna cry. And so I get to that paragraph where I'm addressing this teacher and eyeball, actually, that's kind of a dramatic statement. I didn't bawl. I just started crying. Like, and I was like, oh God, like in the back of my mind, in the front of my mind, I'm like, just go through it. Like you're just going through it like normal. It's fine. And in the back of my mind, I'm like, please, please do not ugly cry. Granted, I was crying and that was probably ugly anyways, but I was like, please do not ugly cry. And then please do not cry a lot where you can't get anything out. Because the last thing I wanted was for the end of my speech to be like, <laughs> like you can't understand me. I was like, please don't let that happen. Please. But luckily, I was able to get through that paragraph and make verbal sense. And then I was able to pull it together, still tears running down my face, but I was able to pull it together and finish out the rest of my speech strong. And that was the end of it. Like, but like, wow, that was emotionally exhausting. What a roller coaster that was. But I want to share with you something that happened to me. And if you've made it through seven minutes of this video, please, I want to thank you because that's a lot. But anyways... I want to share with you something that happened. You know, people who, yeah, they thanked me throughout the whole day. Like, thank you for sharing your story. Like, you know, but I gathered all my things. Most of the students have already gone home. I'm emotionally exhausted. I need a nap. I want to go home. And I'm gathering my things to send my goodbyes. And I'm walking outside to, towards the outside of the building. And this girl comes up to me. I don't, I don't know her. Um, I don't know her at all. Um, and she comes up to me and she hugs me. And so, you know, I hug her and, you know, she looks at me and she says, thank you. She's like, thank you. It's nice to know that it does get better with tears in her eyes. And I'm like, oh my God. And I was like, it does. It truly does. You know, I'm, I mean it. And, um, and she's like, that's good. It's good to know that. And like with tears in her eyes, I'm like, you gotta stop. You're gonna make me cry. And it was just the most beautiful thing ever. And if that's the only person I touched that day, which I know it's not, the 20 the something minutes I spent on stage was not a waste. Like I do it all again if it only affected that one person. But I just also wanna take the time to thank Chiawana for giving me this outlet to tell my story, to tell my journey, to be able to have a voice, to be able to voice my voice and share my journey to, to impact so many other people's lives and even though it was emotionally exhausted, I did get a pretty cool t-shirt out of it. I'm going to attempt to show you, even though I know that I'm probably going to fall or whatever. But this is the t-shirt. It's pretty cute. I like it. I like it a lot. But they also gave me this t-shirt, which I'm probably going to wear all the time after I take a shower. It's got the logo on the back. It's pretty cute. And then I also got a whole Caesar salad, so I'm pretty blessed. But anyways, I just, I wanted to share with you that story. That's what happened in my day. And there's no way Snapchat's gonna let me talk for nine minutes. So I'll post it on YouTube. And if you watch it, you watch it. And if you don't, well, I still hope you had a blessed day. Well, um, goodbye.